Hello, my name is Sarah Ann Knudsen, and I am this year's winner of the U of M Library Undergraduate Research Award for my history honors thesis titled Bridges to Eternity, Women, Conversion, and Religion in Viking Age Sweden. What I would like to do is give you a brief overview of my thesis project, my research as it evolved over the past two years, and the resources through the support of U of M Library that made my research possible. For most of us, the Viking Age is an infamous era that invokes images of raiding ships and exploration. But this was also the time of the coming of Christianity in the North. By the 12th century, many Scandinavians had converted to the new faith. And yet the continental Europeans still considered them heathens. In 1095, Pope Urban II purportedly condemned the religion of the Viking Age Swedes located on the margins of Europe. He declares, For all those barbarous peoples who in far distant islands frequent the icebound ocean, living as they do like beasts, who could call them Christians? In my thesis, I explore the assumption that Scandinavia was a marginal land, and that the Swedes therefore engaged in barbaric religious practice, or when they did convert, that they passively accepted the faith of the Europeans. The Viking Age runestones, Christian monuments created to honor the dead, tell a different story. What motivated the Swedes to create over 1900 runestones, which still survive today? Seeking to answer this question, my research took me across the Atlantic where I spent a year working with archaeologists and traveling throughout Sweden to study the runic inscriptions. I focus on the religious motivations behind these monuments, which surprisingly scholars have largely ignored. During the initial research phase, I collaborated with librarians Sigrid Cordell and Neil Robinson, who directed me to valuable research guides and databases in medieval history, Scandinavian studies, and Northern European history. Resources such as the ATLA Religion Database, the International Medieval Bibliography, and the British and Irish Archaeology Bibliography informed my research and provided current perspectives on Northern European history. With her specialization in Old English and Old Norse, anthropology and linguistics librarian Jennifer Davis directed me to specialized resources in archaeology, as well as primary source materials. I began reading primary and secondary sources written in Swedish, Danish, Norwegian, Latin, Icelandic, and Old Norse. Such work would have never been possible without library resources such as Hathi Trust and Articles Plus, as well as the dedicated staff at Interlibrary Loan. One of the most important resources was the Sam Nordis Rune Text Database, a database from Uppsala University that records runic inscriptions from the pre-Viking Age to late Middle Ages. This resource became invaluable to my research, and I consulted the database regularly in Sweden when I traveled to runestone sites. I arrived in Sweden intending to investigate the regional patterns and in runic inscriptions for my thesis. However, serendipity would further impact and shape my research. I studied archaeology under Franz Herschen at, at Uppsala University and traveled across Sweden, from examining Bronze Age landmarks in the south to meeting the Sami people in the Arctic Circle. I realized how the history of religion remains alive in the landscape. I modified my thesis topic and applied the relationship between religion and landscape to the Christian runestones. Returning to Ann Arbor, Michigan, I worked with spatial librarian Nicole Schultz on ArcGIS mapping techniques and quantitative approaches that are at the forefront of current research in landscape history and archaeology. 
I had taken an ArcGIS workshop with Nicole a few years earlier as a research scholar in the Undergraduate Research Opportunity Program, and I knew that her expertise was exactly what I needed to analyze my findings. Using the coordinates of runestone sites, I mapped the distribution of these Viking Age landmarks and tracked the production of runestones by examining the gender of the runestone sponsors. In doing so, I discovered an unexpected pattern. The practice of raising runestones was gendered, more so than previous scholars have realized. Scholarship has failed to fully appreciate the context in which Viking Age women were involved with runestones, and therefore Christianity. But what are the implications of women's involvement in the runic material, especially regarding religion and conversion during the Viking Age? My collaboration with scholars and peers across the world have enabled me to overcome such challenges and discover unexpected findings. Adherence to a discipline-specific methodology is an inadequate approach to Viking history, a field consisting of diverse specialists ranging from linguists and art historians to climatologists and zoologists. Indeed, Working with my peers in gender psychology, geology, linguistics, and anthropology informed my research and final project. I learned to apply interdisciplinary approaches to medieval history, a methodology I often found lacking in the secondary literature. Through these collaborations, I found myself adopting the methodologies of other disciplines, thus changing the way I interpret my source material. My research experiences challenge the stereotype that historians work alone. Innovative thinking from interdisciplinary work can often inspire the best ideas. As I conclude my thesis research, such collaborations inspired me to reevaluate the international connections that shaped medieval society, thinking more broadly about Scandinavia's place in the Viking Age and medieval world. Scholars today are in danger of making the same mistake as Pope Urban in the Middle Ages. They work under the assumption that Scandinavia was and is situated on the margins of Europe, and thus underestimate the sophistication and agency of Viking Age society in adopting and adapting Christianity. International networks through migration and trade have transformed the globalizing world throughout history not least during the Viking Age. Religion is but one development of such networks, visible in the landscape.